Hey guys, hope you all have been well. Welcome back to my channel. On today's video, we're going to be updating my current favorite makeup items. I try to do this every few months. Since I am more aware of the things that I purchased though, I'm gonna be trying to make these videos every few months, somewhere between three to six months. If you are interested in my current favorite makeup items, I hope you decide to stay tuned because we're gonna get straight into the video. Starting off with bronzer. I've been loving this Fenty bronzer. I don't use it as frequently. Actually, no, that's a lie. I do use it in my videos quite a bit, but I also do use it a lot in my daily life. This is the shade that I have here. Based on the color that you see, it's a warm medium brown. When applying bronzer, I generally dab into it and then tap off the excess on a piece of tissue or my hand and as a result when I'm blending this onto my skin it it blends effortlessly I prefer neutral or warmer bronzers because of my complexion I love the formula of this it's so easy to work with and in comparison to all the other bronzers that I have this is definitely the most warm but it's not orange warm or red warm it's a very flattering golden warm shade and I've been using it quite a bit I don't even know if you can see the FB on it anymore it's it's just about gone. Sticking with contour bronze items, this is the Fenty Matchstick and this is in the shade Mocha. That right there, oh, it's such a pretty brown. This is a beautiful contour bronze. I've like trademarked that word. A neutral shade like this is like a contour bronze. You contour with it and you bronze with it. You don't have to do a two-step process. It's just kind of all in one. And this, after blending it out, is it's so beautiful on the skin. Like I love the way this looks. I use this pretty much on every single makeup look that I've done in the past couple months it is rare that you will find a makeup look that i haven't used this item in and i haven't even needed to twist it up yet that's insane i don't need a lot of this product and mind you i'm about an nc 35 37 in mac for those of you that know the reference and this just looks so pretty granted though i don't like stark dark contour or bronzer on my face just enough to show up and just enough to show the contrast but not very in your face. I've spoken about this before. I still love it. I still love it. This next item, oldie but goodie, MAC Fix Plus. I know what you're thinking. It's like, why are you showing that? It's just, it's Fix Plus. The reason I'm showing this is because for the longest time, this has stayed on my vanity and was this much for so long because I barely used it. If I'm being honest, I used it just to spray my brushes before applying like shimmery eyeshadow on my lids. But within the past couple months, <laughs> I'm like, why don't I just go back to applying Fix Plus on my face, see how it fares, let's see if I fall in love with it again because I have this and a backup and I need to figure out what the hell I'm gonna do with it. But since using it and applying it like I traditionally do where I would spray it on my face and then take a sponge and dab it into my skin, I've done it every single time I've done my makeup. I forgot how beautiful it finishes off a look. There's like this effortless transition of like everything on your face your bronzer your blush your highlighter everything just looks really good so I'm down to this <laughs> yep I'm down to that so the next one is going to definitely be used fix plus I'm sorry I've ignored you for so long but back to Mac can you back to Mac this because yes I will like free lipstick highlighter time I think it just we need to take note of the fact that I'm actually including a highlighter a few years back I was the person that said I don't really get highlighter why does everyone use highlighter and then I started using it more the Bobbi Brown highlighters I don't have a favorite shade I just love the formula of this highlighter this is what I have on my face it's so pretty. It's not blinding like um, the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfectors where it's like metallic-y, very visible highlighter. It's not the type of finish that I prefer on my skin type because of the texture of my skin. So these highlighters are just the right amount of opacity on my skin. I love the glow that it gives. It's not flecks of glitter here and there. It's just this very smooth finish. And I find that the shades that I own, I absolutely love. So this one here is an afternoon glow, kind of a champagne pink. 
can see that shift there so if you're into pink highlighters then this is a really good option this is again what I have on my complexion and so you can see it against my skin tone just overall the quality of these highlighters stunning this is a recent purchase but I have to put it on here like I'm obsessed with this highlighter this is the Dior nude luminizer and this is in 01 I just call it nude glow this is what I purchased to replace my champagne pop that I got rid of and I'm so happy that I did because this is sort of what I wish champagne pop gave me in terms of the way that it looks on my skin this is even sheerer than the Bobbi Brown highlighter and so this is like a subtle option but the shade it's not as pink as the afternoon glow this is more peachy and you know peach and tan skin it just it just go together okay the ability to sheer it on the skin and have that option in contrast from the bobby brown one to this one i just love it i'm so happy that i purchased this it's beautiful just a few eye products um nyx nyx matte liquid liner i am part of the crowd that enjoys these types of eyeliners i don't like pens i like these brush tip applicators i find that they're so much easier to work with with a pen it's almost like it's guesswork like are you going to be good today or are you going to be a little streaky also matte liquid liner all the way i can't stand anything glossy i have crinkles and wrinkles on my lids and it just looks weird if it's got gloss on it has to be matte so since the time nyc stopped producing theirs had total meltdown because that was my favorite finally got onto this it's not the first time that i've used it but it's just been such a staple i don't have any more like gel liners and that's what i use to create wings it's literally this or i'm using some eyeshadow thank you for being true to me nyx thank you don't ever stop making this or i'm gonna have another breakdown for eyeshadows i have to give a shout out to ColourPop. they're just so affordable and they're so good there's so many things to choose from and being the type of makeup consumer that i am i like to build my own palettes i love the color selection that i have this one in particular is my like everyday brownie shimmers that i can put on on any given occasion it's just it's good to go this is the palette that i use i don't know if you can tell but this is a well-loved palette over time i've gotten rid of a few pieces that i had in other palettes or felt that it, i just wasn't making enough use out of it but all these shades here i use them with some of my other palettes i do force myself to use it i want to keep it but it's not like i'm constantly thinking about maybe i should use that shade there's always something here that I could use. So ColourPop definitely gets my shout out for being a current fave with their single pan options. It's just, it's so good. Lastly, we're gonna move on to lips. I have three items here. The first one is a lip liner. I know that I've said a thousand times over that Cork is my favorite lip liner and that does still hold true, but I need to give a shout out to Hover. This lip liner here, I don't even know if it's second place. I would probably call it one and a half. It's still brown because that's just what I like. Brown in makeup just has a way of getting to me. It's, ugh, it's my weak spot. But it is a warmer brown and a lot of the lipsticks that I own do have a bit of warmth to them. So if I'm not feeling like having as much of a dark contrast with my lips, like Cork gives me, hover is always there it's always there to save the day because i have a tendency of overusing cork now i have a tendency of overusing hover who knows where we're gonna go next strip down almost meet this list too because that is gorgeous but hover definitely easily top three of all my lip liners i want to shout out milani's lipstick in matte beauty this shade here guess what guys it's a little brown it's like a mid-tone peachy brown but brown being the main tone and then a peach being the undertone these lipsticks are not expensive at all they're so affordable and i've been using this and the other one that i own in naturally chic so much in everyday life is that not a pretty shade and it's the comfortable matte too i'm sure if you're a makeup user you know the difference between matte and like 
pillowy comfortable matte. This lipstick is the pillowy comfortable matte. Beautiful shade, beautiful lip combination. I know I just did a video on lip combinations, but I couldn't do them all because it, there's so many lip combinations. Even with the smaller lip collection that I have, there's so many possibilities. But that lipstick, guys, if you like mid-tone warm browns, cop yourself one of these. And lastly, to round out this video, the ColourPop Ultra Glossy Lip in Fairy Floss. This is my second tube, but this is just kind of a uh, neutral pink. I know, like you're surprised, right? It has a little bit more opacity to it than most of the lip glosses that I like, but I find that these thicker um, lip glosses from ColourPop, they're not that bothersome. Like MAC lip gloss, I hate that formula. I hate it. It's not as thick as that, but it's definitely not as thin as some of their other ones that to come with a doe foot applicator. I feel like you can tell what kind of lip gloss you're getting based on the lip applicator. So this has the brush tip. I hate brush tip applicators for these lip products. I hate them. I like the doe foot applicators, but the shade of this and the way that it complements so many of the lip combinations that I do, it had to make this list. Two tubes, are you kidding me? This is the only one I repurchased. I was supposed to repurchase two of the same shades, but I couldn't find the other one. I'm so sad. But just to note, these three items that I showed you, that is the combination that I have on my lips, I know. It's pretty, right? I could probably just do a whole channel on lip combinations. Like, I just love finding lip combinations. And you know when you just like, you, you hit a good mark, you're like, yes, like I gotta let people know about it. This is another good lip combo, guys. I think I did seven in the last video. Here's number eight. All right, guys, thank you so much for joining me in this video. I really do hope that you enjoyed it and possibly found some new items you might want to try out. If you guys like this makeup look, go ahead and head over to Instagram. First link in the description box down below where I will post a photo of this makeup look along with other products in the caption. Till the next video, I hope you all are doing well, taking great care of yourselves. I will see you all next time. Bye, guys. It's time for Africa. Anyone else watch the Super Bowl halftime show at least 30 times since it aired? I know it's not just me. That halftime show was fire. Was a fire. Thank you, God, for Shakira and JLo's halftime show.